Okay, this is 16.2, which is factoring when A is not 1. So in the previous section, we dealt with problems when A was 1, or if A wasn't 1, we were able to factor out a number so that A was 1. Well, in this case, we're not going to be able to do that, okay? So if you look at A in number 1 here, this is the first problem on the worksheet. Uh, number The number is 5. <clears throat> we cannot factor a 5 out. However, if you notice... Each term has an M, so we can factor out an M in this situation. So this is what we have left. Okay, so when we make our chart, all right, we make our chart, remember, <clears throat> excuse me, A times C, so 5 times negative 24 is negative 120. And then the number in the middle is 7. Okay, so I need to find two numbers and multiply to negative 120 and add to 7. So that means my positive number is going to be bigger. Um, I start at 10 because the number ends in 0. Uh, 10 and 12 don't work. Obviously, 10 is a smaller number, too. So even if you switch them, that doesn't work. Um, what if we tried... What if we tried, let's see. I mean, we could try El Cheapo, but that doesn't really work. Um, if you remember, El Cheapo is 1. So if you start to kind of divide numbers, so 120 divided by 2, 120 divided by 3, 120 divided by 4, and you just keep going, okay? What you'd hope to come up with, let's see. Uh, let's see, 8 goes in 15 times. So positive 15 minus 8. Those two numbers give me 7. Now here's the thing. I have x, or m, excuse me, wrong variable. m plus 15 times m minus 8. Now here's the thing, though. a is 5. Now in the last section, we didn't have to divide by a because a was 1. Here we have to because A is 5. So I take each number and I divide by 5. 15 divided by 5. Now, first of all, this M comes down and is part of our solution. So 15 divided by 5 is 3. Now, 8 divided by 5 doesn't work out. So we take that 5 and we move it to the front. So 5M minus 8. And that's our final answer. Okay. So the first thing you want to try to do is try to factor something out of both terms. Okay, now, let's do number 7 on your worksheet, which you're going to see here soon. 9n to the 4th plus 58n to the 3rd. Uh, let's see, plus 24n squared. So the first thing you want to do is you want to see if you can divide out by anything. Well, can I divide out by 9? Well, I can't do that. Can I divide out by 3? I can't do that. What I can do, though, is if you look, n to the 4th, n to the 3rd, n squared. And when you factor out a common factor and you're dealing with a variable, you want to take out the, the most exponents you can take. So in other words, you can take out n squared. Well, what's left? Well, if I take n squared out of n to the fourth, I'm left with n squared. Plus 58n plus 24. Okay, now we factor what's in the parentheses. So n squared is going to be in our answer. So I do my chart. Okay. Here's A, here's C, okay, so 24 times 9, I believe, is 216. I hope I'm right. I did that in my head. Middle term is 58. So everything's positive, so we don't have to worry about signs here. So now we're talking about, oh boy, so 1 and 216, well, that doesn't work. 2 and 108, that doesn't work. 3 
and 72. That doesn't work. Four and, let's see, 54. Those work. Now, you might be wondering, like, Mr. Habit, where are you getting those numbers? I'm doing 216 divided by 1, 216 divided by 2, 216 divided by 3, 216 divided by 4. And I'm looking at the two numbers, and I'm seeing if they add to 58. Well, 4 and 54 do. So I have n plus 4, n plus 54. Okay? But again, and a is 9. So I have to take each number in the parentheses and divide by 9. Now, 4 over 9 doesn't work out, but again, when that happens, we move the 9 out front. So I have 9n plus 4. In the second parentheses, 54 divided by 9 is 6. So I have n plus 6 in my parentheses. All right, so the process is find a common factor, and I will tell you that you, well, you might be able to find a common factor. We'll see. Mostly you'll be able to. And then do your chart, okay? Don't worry if some of the numbers are bigger. Just do trial and error, and you should be okay.